Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Brammy Crochet. How you doing today? Uh, I've got a couple of things to talk about today. Um, first of all, I want to welcome you into the dining room. <laughs> I think I'm going to do another video uh, today for tomorrow uh, and I'm going to do it in the yarn room because uh, I have some yarn to put away. <laughs> so I will, I think, do that video upstairs so that um, we could be in the air room for a little while together uh, since I got to be in there anyway. And I have too much to talk about in this video. That I want to make it too. So um, anyway, welcome to the dining room. And uh, I got some happy mail. I did open it because it came FedEx and I'm like, I didn't order anything. <laughs> I don't think I ordered anything. <laughs> Not anything FedEx. And so but it was to me, and I'm like, I have no idea. So I did open it, and then I um, I got a phone call from Billy, and she said, hey, did you get, oh, oh, she texted me, did you get my package? And I'm like, you're the one that sent this. So <laughs> I just love her to death, and I love this, but it's been really warm here for the last couple of days, so I haven't been able to wear it. But uh, tomorrow's video might be in this. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? It is a big old nightgown, like jammy nightgown, up to your throat, keep you warm. Big zipper, easy to put on. No pants required, <laughs> which I totally love because even though my wrist is feeling much, much better, pressure is still, you know, it's a little difficult. I got a hair. Don't mind me, but I can't get this hair on my eyeball. There we go. Um, you know, there's still pressure when I'm like pulling up or pushing down on your paints. So isn't this wonderful? And it's purple and it's flannel. It's going to be so cozy all winter long, even when I'm healed. I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much, Miss Billy. I can't wait to put it on. Um, so I, this is what I got. I appreciate that very, 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 very much in my favorite color. And flannel is so wonderful in Northern Ohio in the wintertime. It is one of my favorite things to wear. And I really don't have any flannel. I wore a few videos back. I was in a flannel shirt, but that was Roy's. <laughs> he doesn't have that many flannels either, actually. He wears long sleeves t-shirts um, quite a bit in the wintertime under like a different shirt, like under a short sleeves t-shirt. <laughs> Uh, but he, he, he's funny. He gets, um, he gets cold. He used to not ever get cold, but maybe five, five years ago, maybe a little longer. We went on a diet program and he lost almost a hundred pounds. Um, I'm going to tell tales on him now. But he was up to, he's not a real tall man. He's like five, nine or 10, maybe 11. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm five two. So anything above that is just tall, but uh, he's not like extremely tall. He's just kind of average size, but he was up to 275 pounds and um, he lost weight like crazy and he did so good and I'm so proud of him and he's kept off the weight. If he could, so he got down to um at one point he was down to 179. Um he couldn't he couldn't get that extra four pounds. He never hit the 100 mark, but he got damn close. And um uh, he has maintained that low weight all this time. He gets uh sometimes he'll get up to like close to 200 and then he's like nope not doing that and he gets back on the treadmill and he you know quits eating things he shouldn't but he was really conscious of what he eats i mean he does eat a bowl of ice cream with me every night <laughs> um, of course that bowl of ice cream helped me put my weight back on but he has you know he's much more active than i am and um he doesn't have a thyroid disorder <laughs> I know, I know, I know this is all on a whole separate tangent, but 
they say, oh, you get on thyroid medicine and any of the weight that you gain from a bad thyroid will go away and, um, you know, you'll be back to your normal self. I've been on thyroid medicine over 30 years. That's all a fallacy <laughs> as far as I'm concerned because I never lost that weight. I never got my energy back. I've never had a very good energy to begin with. Um, I think I've always had maybe a slow thyroid and mine probably doesn't work at all anymore. I don't know because my immune system attacks it. So it's, um, it's immune issue, not just that the thyroid is bad issue. You know what I mean? doesn't matter. The bottom line is I've been on several different thyroid medicines over the course of the last 35 years since I was diagnosed and, or almost 35 years, um, Bottom line is, I never got that energy level back. Losing weight is a really huge struggle. Keeping it off is a worse struggle. Um, I was for a while, like six months, dieted like crazy. I, I was eating rice cakes as a snack. I mean, it's like eating styrofoam, if you ever remember those from way back when. I don't know if they still even do those. I was, I was exercising 45 minutes to an hour every day, cardio, physical, you know, I was building muscle tone. My body shape changed. Um, I lost not one pound, never, the whole time. I actually put on three pounds. They say, yeah, muscle is heavier, so blah, blah, blah. But at some point you lose weight before or during the gaining of a muscle, period. Never. I gained three. I did this for six months. I worked my butt off. I looked better, um, probably felt better, more energetic a little bit. Um, but I never lost one pound. I'm like, how does that happen? How does that happen? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so when he was, back to Roy, when he was heavier, he was always warm. And like he wore t-shirts year round and was never hot, never cold now that he's 100 pounds thinner um he gets cold <laughs> but he doesn't like to wear like sweaters too much they're they're too warm for him because he still has i think he has a pretty high metabolism um or body heat anyway that dude's got some body heat and so he's pretty warm but he needs like a long sleeve t-shirt is like perfect and so he will sometimes wear like heavier like a flannel over a t-shirt if it's really cold out. <laughs> but to say, hey, put on this nice warm sweater, he it's too hot. He can't take it. So um, he does have a couple of flannels and that teal color one that I had on the other day doesn't fit him anymore because he's too small for it. Sadly, it fits me. <laughs> and I love the color. So there we go. Anyway, uh, flannel is nice here in the wintertime. <laughs> That's not what the show is about today, though. <laughs> I did want to show my happy mail from Billy, and I am so excited about that. Uh, oh, I do want to remind you, it is still October, so um, there are podcasters. Uh, thanks to Mama Lama Kayla. Let me write her name down, because you know how I want to put everybody back in the description box, and I sometimes forget people, forget what I talked about. Uh, so we'll put Kayla in the description box of her videos. Uh, and she's doing really well, I think. I'm so proud of her. Uh, I would probably be crying in a corner because she's got to be in such pain. <laughs> I can't even imagine. But she's up there smiling. And, oh, God, such an inspiration. The woman is just an inspiration. So go visit Kayla if you don't know her, Mama Lama Kayla. Uh, anyway, she started the Pink Hats for the podcasters for uh, get your girls checked, get your mammogram. Um, I know, I know I haven't done it, uh, but I'm going to, and you could hold me accountable. So, uh, if you haven't done it, it uh, here, uh, it, they encourage us to do it every year, but, um, I saw somebody in a different part of the country said that they're like every two years. Here, I know it's like get your mammogram every year. So wherever you're at, whatever your doctor recommends, if you haven't had it in your time frame, get it. 
Uh, so that's the pink hat. A couple more days of that. I think the pink hat is really washing me out. What do you guys think? I think I need a darker color or a brighter color or something. I don't know. But mine has sparkle. <laughs> Uh, so a couple more things I want to talk about, um, is if you've been around a while, you know that I've been making, um, animals from, uh, one animal. I made Terry Bear, which I didn't bring over here because she's over there, but I'm going to show you the book. In the last maybe video or two that I talked about Terry Bear, I forgot to show the book. Um, so it's Dress Up Amigurumi, uh, and the author is... Oh, wait, no. Um, yeah, I'm not saying that. Right there for your viewing pleasure. Uh, and I have not finished the Halloween costume. Almost. Uh, I started the hat and I started it in black. I think my black is a little bit thin. Oh, wait, let me show you. Let me just get it. Okay, so here's Terry Bear. Uh, and this is her Halloween outfit. It needs an embroider of a pumpkin face. Now, my crochet is still slow. It's still awkward. I did, someone suggested a pillow. And I did use a pillow yesterday. So much easier. Um, the movements of my fingers are fine. The issue is the cast. And the lack of being able to like get my arm in the right position to give me the right tension uh, the cast slides up and so then it gets in my way and then my knuckles go against it so it's just uncomfortable I mean it's not detrimental but I still lose a lot of, of um, stitches even though the pillow was fabulous and people had mentioned a, a tension guide and put it on your fingers so I bought these and I thought this is what you were talking about. This does not help <laughs> unless I wrap it like around two. So um, if I take the yarn and kind of like put it through two or something, then it and but then it can be too tight. And um, but this is not what they were talking about. There is some. This is more of a guide, so you can use more than one yarn at a time and not get it tangled which could be really awesome if you're doing more than one yarn. Um, and what the next time I do, uh, you know, double yarns, I'm going to give it a shot. But this is not really what people were talking about. There is a ring that you, it has a little loopy kind of thing like this on one end, but you put the yarn under the other part of it. And that helps with the tension apparently. Uh, so I was using the wrong thing. And anyway, I made this hat. Okay, Terry, you're in the way. Uh, so I made this start of this hat. And I spent a lot of time because, like I said, it's crocheting is awkward and um, the whole cast thing. Uh, but I started it. And I was doing it in the black. And so you do, let me bring it down. There we go. And we're going to make the holes for her ears. And it's like working, It it they're fine. But see, this yarn is maybe a little, maybe it's only a three weight. I don't know. It was a scrap ball that I got from someone, I think maybe my mother's house or a friend of mine's aunt uh, that passed away or uh, I bought some yarn at a garage sale at the campground one time and there were some scraps in it and then full schemes as well so it came from one of those kind of situations so I never had a ball band um, but it is the same black that I used in the other parts of her uh, outfit but I think it's a little thin and it's a little harder for me to work with. Um, and I just was not having fun. And in a lot of the videos, people were saying, make the hat orange, make the hat orange. So I thought, well, 
I have this one and I'm going to set it aside. So I started making the orange hat and now I'm on the back side. So, and this is the same yarn as uh, uh, her. I think you gotta stuff it because my hat is not <laughs> staying e either one. They're like all bumpy. So I think I'm gonna have to stuff the hat, but it does go around her ears as you can see like so and then when you get to the bottom you know when I get a few more rows on then you connect the rows now for this hat and I didn't do it on the first one on the black one I used the same size hook uh, and I forgot that I wanted to go a hook large like a half a size larger for her clothes because the clothes are like tight and I, I didn't see in the book anywhere where it says to make the clothes bigger, you know, like use a little bit larger hook. And so I've decided that that's what I think should happen. And other people have commented that, that maybe that's what we should do. So for this, this is a thicker yarn, as you can see, it's a lot thicker. Um, this one, uh, the black just works thinner. I mean, when you're just, it, anyway doesn't matter uh I did go with a little bit bigger hook she the bear and all of her clothes that I've made so far have been made with a 4.0 and I started this one with a 4.5 and millimeter and I like it better it crocheted up really much easier for me with the thicker yarn <laughs> um I, I had a much easier time with the four-way yarn than what I think might be a three weight yarn on the black. And so anyway, I wanted it to be done before I showed it to you, but I didn't get, I didn't get it done. It, it will be done before Halloween if it kills me. Uh, that is my goal. I want her to have her Halloween costume. I'm not getting, this is going to be a Christmas present for my granddaughter. Uh, my youngest one. She's the one that asked for the Terry bear. Um, well, she'll name it whatever she wants, but we're calling her Terry for right now. And uh, anyway, I think she's cute. I think she's adorable. Now the book, as I, I've talked about it before, um, but I have a lot of new subscribers and I've had a couple of questions. So the book is available, I believe on Amazon, uh, but it was a gift from me, for me from Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2. And Nancy is always linked in my videos because of Boggy Creek, uh, Boggy Creek, uh, which is a whole nother video, but hashtag Boggy Camp 2022, where we are collecting blankets for Boggy Creek Camp for the children that go there that are ill. Uh, and they're going to get a handmade knitted or crocheted blanket uh, when they leave or while for while they're there and then they get to take it home. Um, so that's a whole nother video, but we've got a lot of podcasters that are participating, a lot of subscribers that are participating, and we are collecting blankets till the end of this year at minimum. Um, so if, um, uh, if you haven't heard of it, we are doing lives probably every other Thursday on usually Billy the Crafty Floridian's channel. Um, and we're showing the blankets that are being shipped to Nancy. And then we're going to deliver them uh, to camp. In The camp is in Florida. Nancy and, and Billy are in Florida. With any amount of luck, I might get to go down and deliver with them. I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers. So, that's enough of Terry Bear, Bulky Creek, uh, I am doing a ugly sweater make along, which we'll be doing a podcast for on Mondays. It's Mondays make along, and we'll sh and I'll show you the progress of my sweater every week. Um, and it doesn't have to be. Uh, I'm I'm asking that if you want to participate, it's a garment. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be ugly. I was asking for holiday winter uh, themed things, but. Many, um, many of my friends were saying, you know, uh, they don't, 
they want to make a blank a sweater they could wear year round they would prefer so uh they don't have the the yarn and it's you know getting to be the holidays they don't want to spend the money for christmas colored yarns so just to participate you just have to participate make us make a sweater make wearable um send me pictures to my facebook group page hashtag ugly christmas 2022 to participate in the gift you know for the gift on mondays and i did not do it last monday because i got sidetracked and i forgot and once the video was uploaded i don't know how to add to it so uh but i will be putting pictures at the end of those videos of everyone that either emails me or puts on my facebook group page both linked in the description box of all my videos um you pictures of your make if you are a podcaster and you are participating because there are a lot of podcasters participating, please drop me a text, an email, something. Um, I want to make a list and have a playlist of everybody's uh, channels so that people can click the hashtag, uh, click on the playlist and see who's participating and watch your progress. So please drop me a link because the um, there's many i'm so i'm so shocked at how many uh how many uh podcasters are joining in on my make along and it's very exciting and i'm so happy about that uh and finally i know this is a long video right uh but we haven't chatted in a, i mean i know i've been doing a video but uh, we haven't like i haven't chatted chatted so Next on the agenda is, uh, that I wanted to talk to you about, is Sophie's Universe. Now, this is the Zoom, my Zoom sisters came up with this. Let's make Sophie's Universe at the beginning of the year. This is the book, also available on Amazon, Sophie's Universe, uh, Crochet Along. I think that might be the designer there. I don't know. This book is this one blanket. One book, one blanket. Um, here's some pictures. Uh, this is the back. It shows. It is gorgeous. Um, oh, sorry. And if you make it well, first of all, here's another picture. This is a good one where you can just see the blanket pretty well. Um, but there's pictures like of every stitch of every row. It's very, uh, you know, she goes into very, very good detail uh, all along the way. And you can make the full blanket or partial blanket. It tells you how much yarn you need. Uh, there's lots of different colors if you make the, the full thing. There is a coloring page in here. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Oh, so at the back here is where you put what colors you're using per round so you can know. But there is a coloring page. I think it's in here or maybe it's just online. Um, there's notes. Maybe it's just online. Of the blank, uh, so anyway, the coloring page maybe it's just online because I'm not seeing it back here. Um, anyway, it looks like a, an adult coloring book page, you know, very detailed. It's just a black and white where you can fill in what colors you want and, and say, Oh, no, wait, I don't like that color. Let's try this one with it. Uh, I think there's about 10 colors involved. The main color, like in this blanket, that would be the cream, you use a lot of yarn. The other ones, it's like one skein. It would cover the yardage that you need. Um, so some of it is very few yards, and you just, you know, you could probably use some scraps of. As long as you know that you have enough yardage. Uh, and it, there's, it does tell you everything that you need. Uh, you know, color number A is going to be this many, color blah, blah, blah. It does give you a color chart and list of all the different colors that they used in this one. And it, you can make the blanket large, small, or large, medium, or small. And it tells you how much yarn and, and each color you make with that. 
it's also very beautiful and requires almost 4,300 yards of yarn if you were to do a solid color. Um, and I'm telling you all of this because it does require a great deal of yarn if you make the full big large blanket, which is what I want to make. And I thought I was going to do this in um, Mandela's, no, no, wait, Roll With It Tweed Sparkle. I have a beautiful, I think it's called Magic is the colorway I have. And I have enough yarn in that. Um, it's a three weight, but I still have enough yarn in that to do, or maybe it's a two weight, I don't know, whatever the weight is. I have enough yarn in it to do the whole blanket in that Mandala, uh, I mean in that uh Roll with it, tweed sparkle. Roll with it, sparkle. Whatever. I have enough. And I was going to do it in that and just let the colors flow. And someone said it would be real pretty. And um, then I had other people say you, that I will end up wanting to color control it and cut the yarn skeins apart and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not going to do that. If I'm going to do that, I may as well just pick out my own colors. So that's what I'm going to do. Or do solid. And so I was in the yarn room this morning uh, because I have some yarn to put away, which is why I'm going to do that other video up there. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just see what I have in, in solid colors. And at one point I was buying like Karen one pounds and like cream because I didn't have much cream and I like cream colored for joining squares and you know I like to do squares and so I thought I know at one point I was like trying to get like an off-white cream and like have several of the same color I counted I have six different colors of cream one skein each <laughs> I'm like no so how would that look six different colors of one skein <laughs> of uh, <laughs> of cream um, who knew there were six different colors of, you know, the generic cream color. Uh, and I bought another one yesterday or the other day. Uh, this one is right here. I'll show you. I mean, it's just cream. Uh, but I thought this was one that I already had. And so I'm like, I had a 40% off or 50% off coupon. And so I bought Super Saver in the color Erin which I thought I had bought Karen one pound. So, so there we go. That's why it doesn't match the other one that I have because it's all different yarn. Uh, Super Saver isn't necessarily my favorite, but if I, I thought, <laughs> I know I have Karen one pound in like an off white or a cream color. Uh, and so I thought I was matching it. No, I bought the wrong yarn. It still will join squares. Um, so <laughs> it's one of the yarns I have to put away that will be in another video. Anyway, uh, if you're going to do like a one pound and you're going to make the large blanket in a solid color, uh, it's like 4,300 yards, which would be about, on, uh, I think, six skeins of the one pound size ish, six to seven depending on how many yards in your one pounder. Uh, so anyway, bear that in mind. It is uh, it does require a lot of yarn, but I think it's a beautiful blanket. And so we're gonna start this in January and we're gonna do it slow. We're, we're as, and there's a lot of podcasters that are doing that as well. So uh, I'm sure they'll be showing it along the way as we're going, as we're doing it. I'm sure my good friend Lala, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, is going to have some double dog dares going out there uh, because that's the kind of girl she is. She'll be double dog daring people to keep up with her, to uh, make it, to do something throughout the course of this. But it's obviously a time. I mean, there's. A whole book. I'm like, a whole book for one blanket? Are you kidding? Um, people in the Zoom group have made it before. So that's going to be helpful for those of us that have not and are not real avid um, uh, 
pattern readers. I, I still consider myself very beginning pattern reader. Uh, I've been reading patterns now for a couple of years, but uh, not anything complicated. <laughs> Uh, so uh, this might be a little complicated, but we're doing it together. And so I'm going to go kind of like I'm doing my, um, my ugly sweater. But by the way, mine's not ugly. It's not going to be ugly. Um, like every week I'm going to show my progress and I'm going to talk about like things that might be helpful to you if you want to do it. But I want to encourage everyone to get the book and participate with us. Um, if you need, you know, to buy yarn, to have enough, like we're not starting till January, so hit some sales. They still have those bobbins on sale at um, Premier. I had to think which one. They're $2.99 and it's anti-pilling. I'm... I ordered two each of the ones that I got, and I forgot how many, but I got their uh, confirmation email this morning saying that it's on its way. Uh, so I ordered 16 skeins, or bobbins. There's not a whole, there's like 550-ish, I think, yards on each one, and there's three colors, so it's not like huge amounts. And I kind of, but I don't want to spend the money. That's This is my issue. Um, I kind of want to go in and like, but I want to see the colors first. So I'm having some mental issues here. You know what? It just order a bunch of, I think they had like a white or a cream. If I ordered like eight of those, cause they did have some that were solid colors, anti-pilling all the same color. I might just do that. I might just do that. Because I was thinking I wanted to do it in a solid. $2.99 or like 550 yards of anti-pilling. I know they had white and I think they had gray in solid colors. I ordered 16 of them. I um, Two each of the colors that I ordered. But none of them would even, I mean, I could use those uh, because there's like 10 different colors. Uh, I didn't order 32. I ordered eight different colors, two each for my 16 skein or bobbins. Um, I know that there's 10 different colors in this. I, I think that's what Anita from the Yarn Overhook told me, a YOH. That there's 10 different colors. I didn't count them myself. Um, but I could. 10 different colors. I ordered 8 different colors. But there's 3 colors on each one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, 10 different colors. I think 11 when you talk about the main color too. No. No. 10 different colors. The main color you need a whole, whole bunches of. Like 2,300 yards or something. And then the other nine colors are like one skein of, of like regular. They made this in sheep cheese and they, they're little tiny skeins. Um, so like in the main color, she used 23 skeins. But if you were using, um, you know, big twist, you would use six you know because you've got a bigger more quantity per yard so anyway i could probably use those yarns and maybe i should order just a solid color to go with them goodness now i have to do some research i really don't want to buy more yarn um i really kind of want to use the yarn that i have i don't know but back to, they're still $2.99. And if you did want to do, um, say, the solid color, and I think there's about 550 yards on those bobbins, 
and you need 4,300-ish yards. It is anti-pilling yarn, which you know is more expensive. Um, so what do you need? Eight of them? Seven or eight of them at three dollars. Uh, twenty five bucks, right? Three dollars times eight. Three times eight is twenty four. You can make the blanket in a solid color. There you go. That's not bad. And at Premier, if you spend seventy five dollars, um, you get free shipping in the continental U.S. So just some tips if you want to join us for Sophie's Universe because you'll probably be seeing a lot of this from me starting in January. Uh, and cross your fingers that we get through it. We will because we have each other to help, um, which is the only reason that I'm doing it. And Carrie, my yarny elephant, sent me this book. Uh, and I appreciate that so much, Carrie. I wasn't going to order it till January because I shouldn't be ordering anything with my lack of paycheck these days. And so she said, I'll send it to you. I'm like, no, 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 just wait, just wait. Um, I'll get it. But she sent it because she's a sweetheart and we love her. So thank you again for that, Sherry. Thank you. Or Sherry. Carrie. <laughs> Sharing Carrie. She comes out to Sherry. Uh, so anyway, Carrie, thank you again so much. And uh, thank you so much, Billy, for my purple um, nighty because I will wear that all the time. I guarantee you um, that's going to be an around the house thing. My husband's going to be tired of looking at me in it. I don't care. Uh, let's see. I think that's all I have for you for this video. It's gotten to be a long video. So thanks for sticking around and enjoying my, or hopefully enjoying my chat. Uh, I need to make a decision about the yarn. I wish the yarn was here already so I could look at what was coming. Well, well. All right. I will see you guys in another video. A uh, couple more days of pink hat. And get your girls checked. Get your book. <coughs> Excuse me. And get you some yarn. And let's do this in January. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.